Quite possibly this run along a disused railway viaduct in Somerset may be a moment in history for motor racing and electric vehicles. It's the first of a series of timed runs on a strip of tarmac not quarter of a mile long with two cars and two drivers bidding for honours to claim the best time and fastest speed so it could reasonably claim to be the first race between electric vehicles ever staged. It's all part of the START initiative, a project of the Prince's Charities Foundation. START is all about sustainability and electric vehicles come under its wide-ranging umbrella and will take part in the year's big event when the Mall outside Buckingham Palace is closed in September. What we tried to do today on the viaduct is bring together the Tesla, which is without question the only supercar, electric car on the market that is tried, tested and proven, um, and the thing, and really show people what is happening. And that is the beginning of taking it right the way through to September when out of that Prince Charles asked me if I would then host and curate an eco-car spectacular on the Mall as part of Start Festival in September. Roger Saul, founder of the Mulberry fashion brand and now a dedicated eco-champion through his organic food brands, is also a dyed-in-the-wool racer, hence his challenge to TV presenter Kevin McLeod to race electric vehicles across the viaduct at Kilver Court. Kevin McLeod, you are taking this very seriously. Of course I'm taking this very seriously. I mean, it's a bit of a hobby of mine anyway, and, um, and I'm racing against a man who takes it more than seriously. I mean, you know, Roger will do anything to win. The cars couldn't be more different. Think is the fully rounded city electric we've seen at motor shows for a decade or so, developed in Norway, perfected under Ford's stewardship and one of the few genuinely practical electric vehicles available. The Tesla Roadster is something else. It's based on a Lotus chassis and packed with high-end electric motors and electronics to deliver completely usable sports car performance with a real-world range of 100 miles to make it practical in every everyday sense of the word. But its emissions and guilt-free performance, and it's here today because it is completely sustainable as well as practical. Think also has sustainability as its guiding principle, but in road trim it's no match for the Tesla and probably isn't as a race car either. But that's what it will be next year, as it forms part of the EV Cup, an all-electric racing championship. EV Cup is the first uh, racing series exclusively for electric cars. In our own series, we've broken it down by three uh, classifications, the first one being city EVs, next one being sports EVs, and of course prototype EVs. We are still very much a niche within the motorsport. We're not trying to replace Formula One or whatever like that. We, we just are creating a niche with a new technology. The whole idea behind it is that racing will drive innovation. So racing is the best way to make electric cars improve quicker and faster, so more people can drive them. I would say in terms of the technology, uh, it's very simplistic compared to an average uh, running petrol or diesel car. But really the complexity comes in the chemistry of the batteries, uh, the form of electric motor used, and of course a battery management system which of course uh, controls the level of power usage throughout the racing room. EV Cup's message is quite clear, that the future of motorsport is like that of motoring, electric and that racing will improve the breed as always. The championship is due to begin next year, bringing noise and emissions-free racing to circuits that badly need just that, and providing a new generation of race fans with a fast developing technology that will relate directly to the cars they drive in the time-honored traditions of car racing. There are other things you can do, and I, and I foresee your race tuning houses for EVs will be doing things like, uh, we use a induction motor in the car currently. They'll be switching over to induction permanent magnet motors which offer a slightly varied torque curve. Actually holds the torque curve flatter for higher speeds. They'll be increasing the throttle response because that's purely down to mapping. And we can, we can do that on any car. And they'll be doing other little things. Uh, you'll be able to super cool the, the, uh, the system so that you can run it slightly hotter. Maybe it was all a bit of fun, but both cars ran fast and faultlessly all morning with no exhaust fumes nor exhaust note to disturb the tranquility of this Somerset morning. And right now the biggest, the biggest issue on our plate is consuming less fossil fuel. So these cars, which are electric, 
uh, demonstrate, you know, even if these cars are using energy burnt in a diesel power station in the Thames Estuary, for example, um, they're still greener than the average family car. So it, it's a complete no-brainer. Really. All of this is on the way, irreversibly, unstoppably on the way. Even as we speak, the technology for the cars we drive five years from now is under development and it will be better than anything you have seen so far. And racing will help to move it on year on year.